We are live. Yeah, I thought I'd show it. I happened to be going through some stuff in there in storage, and I thought I'd show it. I, I got a big poster of Johnny Bench, a huge one, size of your door. Of course, I'm not going to be able to show that on here, but I that. We got these. I don't know if you can see them or not. We got the postcards. I got that gameplay with Bench on it. Uh, here's the other side. They're like postcard benches. Uh, there's no particular order. Uh, these are 76. That's a TCMA 76. Top 76. Leaders. 77 down at the bottom. There. And then on the other side, look at the 77s. <laughs> Some guy had a collection of them. And there's a 78. These are some of the 76 World Series celebrated in 77. Uh, I've got a ton of his stuff. Where's my... Oh, I've got two pins. I don't know what happened to the second one. I thought I had them together. These 74s. seventy-threes. This is him waiting at the plate. I don't know who that is running. That might be North uh, North run coming in. Bunch of leader. Uh oh, look out! Next coins, Carton Fisk, Dick Allen, which needs to be in the Hall of Fame. He's dead now. He could flat out for two years. He probably was the best American League player to get playing. Then over here we had the seventy fives. These used to be quite valuable, actually. Then there's seventy five records and stuff. Then 75 leadership card. This is 69 Sporting News. 70. This was used to be a it's a high end card or a high number. Used to be really expensive. That used to be the rookie, and then this was the second most expensive card. And that's 70 in the news. Then you got your 71s. I've got another one. I haven't put, it, put in with these. It was up behind another car. It was in a lot of auction stuff. And you got leaderships. 72. Seventy-two in action, which I think that's one of his coolest cards. I got probably got more in these. This is not everything I have. But the coolest card. There's 72. Is the 73. They could have made an inaction card, but that's when it's going back to catch that foul ball. Those this used to be like my favorite card of Johnny Bench. Here's the 79s and 80s. Over here, 78 again. 78. 79. The 79s are plentiful. They're like double printed. So probably there's more 79 bench cards than any other card out there. And I forget which one this is. I think this is the 70, the 79 Hostess. You know, you got on the back of the box, Twinkies, Ho-Hos, all that stuff. So that one. How about to straighten them back up again? Here's 1981. Bench, and then this is the 1981 Coca Cola bench, and these are the 1981's uh, record breaker. Here's 1980, more 81's, and then this I think was like one of the packs that something came in and it's got bench on it. You got that. This is 81 Dunruss. I've got a, that's 81 Dunruss. They made multiples of some of the players sometimes. And these are eight, 81 Fleer. And this is 81 Fleer. And then these are 1981 Record Breakers. And yes, the question you're asking is, would you trade up? Yeah, I would. I would definitely do that. 
I don't think this is all of them because I'm, I should have some 71s, 72s, and stuff like that. Here's 82 in action tops. Got a whole bunch of those. This is a sticker, 81. Not peeled. Here's 82 tops. I might have the 82 Coke in here, too. I've got the 82 Coke somewhere. Not in with these. I've got that, though. Then these are, I can't remember. I cannot remember this, what year these are. Could be 82 Fleer, but I can't remember. Let me see. Can I get to it? Let me look on the back of that. Can't remember the year on that one. Dunruss, 82, it says. So, 82 Dunruss. And these are 82 Fleer. And those are the 81 Dunruss. Him and Tom Seaver. Then we got 82 Dunruss over here, the regular card. And then an 82 Dunruss Diamond King. Then 82 in action tops. Have no clue. I don't think I've ever figured out what the value of all these are because most of these are in gym mint condition. I got 83 tops. And then those are 83 uh, super veterans. Then over here, we got 82 Dunruss. And then we got, plus I've got the complete set of Dunruss, the whole set, which he's in it. And then there's Tom Seaver and Johnny Bench. These are 83 All-Star Glossies, 83 Dunruss, 83 Fleer. The worst set, there's the Glossies. They're worth a little bit more because to get these, you either had to send off for them or you had to get a one of those rack packs with those in there. And then the 80, 83 Dunruss. And then these, the 83 Fleer. Those, I probably got those for like less than, probably like point zero 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 two each. And they probably, if you bought them at a shop, they probably want a dollar a piece for them. Maybe two. But those, the Fleer, the Graybacks, they are the probably the worst card ever produced. They are but ugly. Then here, oh, Nick, if she's watching, is going to love these. Here's the 84. That's like the last 84 card, 84 flare, that the regular season card they made a bench. Here, this is, dang, I can't remember. Oh, this is uh, Circle K 70, 85. 1985, they made that. And then here is Carl Skrimski and Johnny Bench retiring 84 flares. Another Tom Seaver and Bench. This is a Drake. I can't remember. Let's see what year is that. 82 Drake. A bench. Okay. These are the Kmart ones they had, which they couldn't give away at the time. Nobody was buying them. This was this was when I think these are 80. No, these are 82. So yeah, they they are limited. <laughs> Limit, they're limited to a couple million. That's why these never took off much. They're just they're just remakes of of some of his cards. These are postage stickers, mostly. Tennis the menace they call it because he killed the Reds in the seventy two World Series. Yeah, you know, these are like stickers. A bench. There's a little sticker. Who's the other guy? Ted Simmons. Ted Simmons. He's in the Hall of Fame now, too. I got a suspect about that. I don't know. I don't know if I would agree Ted Simmons deserved to be in. More of the Kmarts. Now, these are the ones, the Kellogg's. I forget what year. Uh, 76 Kellogg's. And then these are, that's Kellogg's. That's when they made the bigger card. I think that's. I believe that's like 72. I got more of that. I just got no one got them together. And then these are different years. I cannot remember the year on these. I think one of those is 75 or 74. This one, 
I think this one. No, I believe that's I believe that's 81. I think it's 81 Kellogg's. I don't know the Kellogg's as well. This is older. I think this is probably 75 or 76. I can't remember. This one is Lord have mercy. Well, my stamp. I'd have to move my stamp to see. Anyway, I've got a bunch of the Kellogg ones. I don't think I have all of them, believe it or not. And we're back to more. Wait a minute. We've gone through all these. No, I didn't go through this one, did I? No. Did I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, these are 77s. I don't think I think I skipped them. I think that's an 82 Kellogg's, I think. So, quite a few. And then we got, forget what year. This is Fleer. Forget what year. But that's the jersey and the Reds banner. Oh, by the way, also, if if um, Nick is watching, there's the Danny Age rookie. It happened to be in there. I saw it. It's in pretty good shape, sharp corners. Personally, he was not a bad basketball player, but he might have been ended up being a better baseball player. I see what he hit. 239. But then again, you know, he only played with the Blue Jays at for a couple seasons or something. He, he might have actually been pretty good. Second base. This is the Johnny Bench sealed sports deck. All star playing cards and benches on the. I also have his book, Catch You Later, and it's autographed. So I got that. Plus, I've got other autographs of him. This one, it's gosh, just a stiffer. 72 in action, 74, 75. 19. Uh, this one's messed up. No, it's not on the card, it's on this. I don't know what got my sheet. So the card's okay. 76, 60, 69 in sporting news, 79, 77, 78. I don't want to mess those up. So I'll put them to the side. And let's see. This is uh, TCMA 1986. This is you saw this picture in the newspaper when it did an article on him when he did something spectacular. That's why it's black and white because that's always what the little they used to put the face of the player they were talking about in there. I forget this one. This one, 1983, probably a Reds team. Or oh, you had to get you had to get this out of the yep yeah, since they the Reds, 1983. So you had to get this out of the gift shop. So this was not a regular issue. And why they got this one in here, wasting this, I don't know. When I I don't I can't remember getting it. It's another one of those. But I need to take it out of here and put a better card in there. But put the Ainge would be a better card than that because this one. I've got more somewhere else. I've got a bunch more in a, in a box. This is 84, I guess. It was made in 2001. Yep. Another another Kmart. This one is 86 TMA. This is an 82 Diamond King, I think, or is it 83? 82. Another miscut 74. This one is, gosh, can't remember when this came out. First draft edition type card. I can't remember. It's a modern card. 71 liters. Uh, Bowman Chrome. This is from, I think I have two of these. This is the one I took out. I might have put it in there. I think, I think this came, I have the Milton Bradley game. And it's got it in there. And this is can't remember what year it came out. I think it's 1970 or 69. So this would be a second or third card. And it might have been a 68 game. I can't remember. But anyway, it's, it's like it should be graded. It's in excellent shape. You don't see them a whole lot. 
80 bench, 76. And this is, uh, they cut that really well, man. They had to use a machine. They cut that really good. Uh, 76 Hostess, which is basically a 75 car, and they just reused it. Another Kmart. This is a 70 Game 2 World Series in terrible condition, but bench is catching. Here's some more 73s. 77. The Reds, 1977, which I have more team cards too. I don't know what all, where I have where I put all of them. Put these over here. Here, yeah. Shoot fire. Anyway, uh, there's the you had to get this at the gift shop. I've got two of these. And what you do is you can wear it as a pin, or you put this out in the back like that, and it sets up. I used to have that on my on my uh, uh, dresser. Cool or what, huh? You don't see those very often. I've got two or three. I think I might have three of them now. Now, I think I got two, and I think I bid on another just for the heck of it, and I didn't win it. Oh, yeah. Might as well show that now that it's probably in zero condition, but it fell off on me. Here's the Johnny Bench Wheaties box. Kind of like what? Uh, yeah, cool. I need to get him to sign it. Then it's got him on the back, a couple pictures on the back, and it talk, talks about him. This is when he retired. This is pretty cool. It's a booth number, so I probably must have bought this at an at a um, um, got a little crease there. I probably got this at it's got all his awards on the side. I probably got this at a flea market. I can't remember for sure. Okay. Now, this is pretty cool. This is the big red machine. You got Bench. Larkin, which he really wasn't part of the big man. Ken Griffey Jr. and Joe Morgan. This is not all of it. I got posters, too. I even got the, the little poster of him. Uh, from the, the gift shop. You had to go to Cincinnati, go through the gift shop and get it. It's a photo of him. I don't know what I did with it. I don't think it's in all this that I brought out. There's another newer card remake. Now here's Willie McCovey, 73, but Bench is catching. You got to have Bench. When he's in, in the picture, you got to have him. And then I think I got more of these. These big, big butt looking big cards. As you can see, I'm, I am I am a huge, and here's his rookie. Matter of fact, I think I have two rookies. I don't know where the other one's at. I think it was loose. I don't know where I put it. This one's guard guarded. Here is his, when he retired, they celebrated. This is Khan's uh, wieners. And these are bronze, bronze Johnny Bench coins. I wonder if Nix has got uh, Larry Bird like this. I'm sure they made it. With the stats on there. Then you got the Cincinnati Reds Diary of a Winner from 1976. It was two bucks originally. And it's got, and I have this too. I've got this. This is the poster I have. It's gigantic looking, and this is the same. It's the same picture. Then I got, oh, I got this can. I think it's from 76. Hood and Paul, pure grain beer. Beer's not in it. It didn't open. I don't know how they got the beer out. There's no hole in it. Anyway, you had to punch a hole in it to drink it. But. I don't know how they got that out. I don't see any hole in there, but there's nothing in it. And it's got the uh, first back-to-back -back National League World Series champions in 54 years. You got Pete Rose diving. You got, I think it's Bench right there hitting. Uh, gosh, I don't know all the players for sure. Pete Rose there. I don't know who that is. 
looks like Lupinelli wasn't there yet. And that's 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 a Chris Chambliss of the I don't know why they got him on there for. And this is just some of the stuff. This is most of it, probably, most of the cards. Then I got this rare one. I've never seen one like it. It has every step of a swing. Do not have any history on it. I do not know. Let me see if I can do this. You probably can't see me, but you can see it better. And it's got all the things that we swing on board. <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird item. I don't know where I got it. I think it was an auction. And with the sideburns, it's going to be from the 70s. It's going to probably be probably going to be 76, 76, 75, 76. That's pretty cool because it is a rare item. I have never seen another one like it. And what else? Did I, oh, and then I, when I was going through some stuff, I found my copper. This is, I was looking for this copper bar the other day. It's six pounds. Six pounds, 4.2 ounces. 999 fine copper. That sucker is heavy. It's a solid six. My, my chihuahua weighed about six pounds, and he wasn't this heavy, so I don't know. Then I found this uh, this uh, letter opener. It's just cool. These are from 1964. I think that's right. Let me see the nickel. I think it's 64. Yeah. And the dime, look at the dime. The dime is, they're in mint shape. So they must have put them, so I guess they made this in 64, Lucite. And then they put them in there. It was liquid and they, look at it, suspended in motion. That's pretty cool. I got that in a, at the local auction. Nickel, it's, it's worth, what, six cents? But the silver dime and the quarter, that's pretty awesome, actually. So I had to get that. I don't ever use it to let open letters. I do not know if this is silver. I'm doubting it. Probably just steel. Kind of looks like maybe somebody was trying to turn it into a knife. Ugh. So anyway, I thought I'd show and tell and, and do this. So that's quite a bit of a player. But and I got more bench than any other player. I thought I always thought Mays was the greatest player, but bench was always my favorite. But I got more because I know I've got another, another 68 rookie in a sheath somewhere. And I have, um, see, 68, 60. Oh, yeah, my 69s ain't here. I don't see them. I have a 69 OPG and a 69 tops. And the OPG is ca Canadian version. So I do have more somewhere. I think what I did, I think the, the binder had so many in it, I took these out. And I still got the binder with a bunch more cards in there. Because I got a bunch of 71s, uh, 69, 70s. I've got more 70s. I've got probably three or four 70s. So I got more. And I got the big poster, and I didn't show the book with his autograph on it. But And I read the book. So anyway, it would have taken an hour. It took almost 30 minutes to do this. It would have taken an hour to go through everything. So anyway. That's member of Lane. Everybody probably knows who Johnny Bench is. And uh, so if you need one of them that I got a, like 10 million of, which is just about every year, let me know. There might be somebody out there that needs that card to complete a set, and I can get you a really good condition one because I don't care much about condition anymore, really. So <laughs> I got a bunch of them, bunch of bunch of extras of almost every year. The only card I don't have of him from 68, which he was a rookie, to 84 when he quit. The last cards they made, regular cards they made of him. I do not have the 1968 Venezuela, and it's everything on the back is, is Spanish. I really want that one. So if you ever see it, contact me, let me know, however you can here or whatever, and let me know how much they're wanting for it, and I'll probably try to make a deal with them. And, you know, that's a good way if you want gold or silver, let me know, because I do kind of really want that. It's like the only one I think I don't have between those other years. And 
I don't have a lot of the, all the newer ones. I've got most of them. And I didn't even know they existed until I happened to come across them. I go, well, what the heck is that? And it was like a very modern card of him, of him uh, reflecting or whatever it is. So I said, well, they were kind of cheap. So I went ahead and bought them. But anyway, so I still kind of collect him, actually. And the guy's a legend. But I don't really collect cards anymore. I just, I, I, if I buy them, I buy them to resell them. But these, I probably should sell some of the doubles. I mean, it'd be kind of stupid to keep all of them. Oh, I need one of each. So I might start putting them up for sale, different ones of them. I need to show this on my, uh, there's a, uh, I'm in a chat room in, on Facebook, this Johnny Bench. Somebody was wanting the 68, the extra one I had. He was just kind of trying to get me to sell him that. And uh, so anyway, keep stack, stacking, <laughs> keep stacking and packing because times we live in. I guess it's okay. Keep collecting. And uh, if you if you got something Johnny Bench I, you didn't see here, let me know what it is. Matter of fact, I think I have an RC can of him on. I've got this one, but I think they got the RC where the face is right here. I think I have that. I think I've got that a bench somewhere. So I should have it down there with, with the bench stuff. Anyway, three people came in. Four likes. So I will uh, catch you later. Oh, look at here. I just noticed that. Willie McCovey is in this one too. Interesting. That's very interesting. It's a different year. So McCovey popped up again and bench, I think, ran back and caught it or went chased it. And then he fouled one off here. Interesting. You know, again, you can have these things. For, I've had these things for 30, 40 years, I guess 40 years. And I just now noticed that. Those two cards. So I'll see you later. <laughs>